Hello and welcome to this Simulator Spotlight presentation. My name is Jason Tranter and in this presentation we're going to look at iTeachPhase. iTeachPhase is a fun little simulator because it's a good visual demonstration of how phase measurements work. We can actually do lots of things with this simulator. We can explain how phase analysis works and ODS tests work in addition to how phase measurements work. But in the interest of time, let's have a look at phase measurements first. So here's our setup. We've got a pump, the coupling and shaft and the motor. What I'm going to do is I'm first going to put a bit of reflective tape up here on the shaft because First, I'll just show you a simple phase reading with a single channel analyzer. So I need to use my tack. Now watch the green light on the back. When we have it in the right position, the green light will go on. There it is. It goes on because the light's now reflecting off the reflective tape and back into the detector. So there I've got that in the right place. And if I was to start the machine now, you see now it's spinning. You can't really see the bolts because it's just blurred. And there's my once per revolution tachometer signal and what I can do is uh, turn on triggering so now the analyzer sort of locks in and just sort of keeps that nice and steady. Now with this vibration sensor which you can see is connected to the top uh, waveform display here is the vibration just at the running speed the running speed we know because we've got this tachometer here so this is the vibration and because it's one frequency it's a sine wave and when we have it up here, now the system can look at the phase difference between this signal and our TAC reference. And it says the phase readings, yeah, it's just about 5 degrees. You can see it's not particularly steady, but that's not uncommon for it to just move around a little bit like that. But let's see what happens when we move it down here. Ah, look at that. The phase angle shifted by 90 degrees. And if the motor was out of balance, that's what we'd expect. We get that rotating vibration, and so if we move the sensor 90 degrees, we expect the phase to change 90 degrees. But I can do other things, like I can put the vibration sensor here, and then put it over here and see how the vibration changes. Okay, so here it's uh, about 180 degrees, and here it's uh, about 0 degrees, or thereabouts. So you can see a 180 degrees phase shift. And yes, I am compensating for the fact that one face is pointing to my left and one face is pointing to my right. But I can move it in different places. I can also do a little trick here. So let's put the vibration sensor here. We'll put it down in these hold down bolts. Good, about zero. Put it here. Yeah, about zero. Let's put it on this part. Yeah, it's still around about zero. Let's put it down there on the base. Oops. It's just changed by 180 degrees. And that would tell me that there must be a crack. It must be separated between this plate and this plate. And there's movement here and no movement down there. So there's therefore a 180 degrees phase shift. So this is how the single channel vibration phase works. I have the tachometer connected to the tach input of my analyzer. I have the vibration sensor into channel 1 or the only channel of the analyzer. And this is what I get. But what if I was to stop it? And I'll take that off. And instead, I'll just use a second accelerometer. And so now I've got one vibration sensor here, one vibration sensor here. And what I'm doing is I'm saying to the analyzer, just give me the phase reading at this speed. So I might, because I don't have a tack on it anymore, I might tell it that it's the phase at uh, a particular speed, or I might look at the spectrum and point to it. Somehow it needs to know a speed. But you can see there's a 90 degrees phase shift between these two. Actually, it says minus 90 degrees. So given it's still the same machine, I can see that what I need to do, I swap these guys over, then I'm back to seeing a normal 90 degrees. But anyway, now with a two-channel analyzer, I can put one sensor here, one sensor here, and see that those two readings are in phase. Those, the motor and the pump are moving up and down together. I can put one here, one here, and as I said, this is all magically compensated, but I can see that those two ends are moving away from each other, towards each other, away from each other. They're out of phase. And I can do things like this, put one sensor there, one sensor all the way down there, and see that same 180 degrees phase shift. So this allows me to demonstrate the single channel phase, 
two channel phase and let's not go into it right now but we can also demonstrate how you can measure phase with a strobe and we've got a full demonstration of doing it with uh, a strobe instead we can also go into this analyze phase method where as I move the vibration sensor around we get to see the phase readings and the amplitude and try to figure out what's wrong with the machine and we can simulate an ODS test by moving the vibration sensor at different places in fact I'll just move my reference up here for example and just do it at different places and see how the phase readings change as I move along but anyway that's the iTeach phase uh, simulator I hope you found it interesting and thank you very much for viewing this presentation.